Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all this morning? Welcome to Friday Live here in my stamping room. I am really excited to be here today and chatting with you, my beautiful uh, stamping friends, because I'm a bit lonely. I've, I've really seen no one all week except for my kidlets and I'm excited to speak to people out there in Facebook world and um, see how you're going this morning. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Sherry. How are you? This can be the, um, you know, we all want to work, well, I want to work from home but sometimes it can get a bit lonely. So it is, hello Maria, how are you? It's lovely to get to come and chat with you guys on a Friday morning. You know how I feel? Yeah, it can sometimes, being at home, being a stay at home mum and then working from home can sometimes be a little bit lonely. So I was actually thinking, I get really, you know, I get a bit kind of, oh, oh, oh I hope my projects are going to be good. I hope you guys like my projects. I hope you, um, good morning, Shannon, how are you? Um, I hope you enjoy the show and I get a bit kind of wound up and then I go, yeah, but actually... I just get to chat to people, which is pretty cool. I like chatting. <laughs> what are you guys up to this morning? What have you got on your plate today? It is a inclement day in the Adelaide Hills today. It has rained and it's been sunny. And at the moment it's sunny, which is lovely because it's great light here in the room for filming. Um, but I expect it'll be raining again in a little while. So anyway, that's the weather report here in Balmain. <laughs> I don't know why I tell you guys what the weather is like every Friday morning. Are you interested in that? Probably not. Um, okay, let me get my laptop going. It's gone to sleep. And when I turn the uh, camera down, you will not... Good morning, Julia. How are you? <laughs> Um, you will not be able to, I will not be able to see the comments if I don't, um, if I, that was really, <laughs> that was funny. I could just see my head popping back in. All right. So what's happening this morning? Good morning, Amanda. How are you, sweetheart? You know, I watched the video last week that I do. I try and watch the video as weird as that is watching yourself talking. But sometimes if um, I've had people say, oh, they can't hear me and stuff. So I need to make sure I, I'm i putting a video out there on YouTube because that's what I do after we finish here. I, I load the videos up onto YouTube. Um, so I, I want to make sure I'm putting out something that people can hear. And um, I now I've lost my train of thought. What was I thinking about? The video last week. No, lost my train of thought. That's bizarre, isn't it? Anyways, um, we're moving on, shall we? Well, and I'll remember what I was going to say. So, oh, wow. Okay, so that's not a good start. Now I can't think of what I wanted to tell you. Did you like the video last week? Watching myself being weird. Yeah, but that's normal, Maria. <laughs> I'm always being weird and on video that's isn't that the sound check sound check <sighs> no it'll come back to me Maria it'll come back to me I can I can tell you're one of those people too that gets really frustrated when something slips out of your brain perhaps it's old age creeping up on me Anyways, so what have we been up to this week? This week has been a pretty big, um, you loved last week's video. Oh, good. Yay. That was, that was kind of, it was fun. I, I liked sharing. I could have continued to share forever. Um, talking about crafty organization is kind of like a, you know, it's, that's fun, isn't it? But, um, I thought I'd better keep it. It was an hour. That video was an hour. I can't believe it. I'm 
you know, I do wonder whether you guys get a bit tired of hearing my you know, straining voice after that long. But this week, what have I been doing? I've been working, working, working this week because I've launched my um, cra online craft classroom and it is has its own Facebook group. And for my beautiful customers who are my current customers, if you're a customer, you know, like three years ago and you haven't bought anything from me, you're not automatically included in the group. I'm really sorry about that. But if you are one of my current customers, if you've purchased from me in the last 12 months, then you are come on in to the classroom because I have launched this week my first class and it's with the Pretty Kitty stamp set which I'm going to just show you. So this is the Pretty Kitty stamp set. Oh, now what's Shannon saying? She loved last week's video. Oh, it's first time watching live. You're normally at work. Yay, you're not at work. Yay. <laughs> you make a cup of tea. Awesome. I've got a coffee here, Laura, so we will have coffee and tea together. Okay. You don't mind the time either? Oh, good. That's very sweet of you guys to say so. So this is Pretty Kitty. I love Pretty Kitty. If you don't like Pretty Kitty, guess what? We've got Bella and Friends. Which one do you guys like better? Pretty Kitty or Bella and Friends? Are you a cat person or a dog person? I'm just an all-round animal person. Um, probably cats, just a little bit more. Um, my husband always says that I will be a crazy cat lady if he goes first. Um, and that is true. You know, it's good to accept where you're going to be in the long term and I will be that crazy cat lady that people don't visit anymore. You love cats, cats are the bomb, yeah. I know, they're just so delicious and we don't have a cat at the moment, we haven't had a cat for about five years. Um, my husband now tells me he, he's uh, allergic even though he's had a cat his whole life. I think he's more allergic to the price of putting them in boarding when we go away. That's probably the allergy I'm thinking. But um, the kids and I are not, we're not completely, uh, we're not put off. We're, we're going to continue to encourage him to come over to our way of thinking and have a cat and a dog. Fudge would love it. So anyways, back to the classroom. Um, so this week, these are the cards that I we are making in the classroom and I have done really detailed videos, step-by-step -step tutorials on how you can make these cards. All the colouring, check out those little kitties, they are coloured so cute and you can get the tutorial, the video tutorial for free! It is super awesome, even if I do say so myself. That's a bit sad, isn't it? But so just be by being one of my current customers, you will get the video tutorials monthly in my classroom for free. Now, what's the catch? There ain't no catch except for being one of my current customers. That's all you need to do. You need to purchase your goodies from me. Um, also, if you are in my first level, or so if you join Stampin' Up! with me, so you need kind of a sponsor to join Stampin' Up! You need to pick someone that is awesome. Um, so if you would like to join Stampin' Up! and get all your goodies at 20% off or 25% off if you sell a couple of things along the way, then um, that's pretty... I would do that. I did do that. Eight years ago I did that and I'm still doing that. Um, you don't have to be a, like do what I do. You can just um, you know, sit at home and buy your own goodies for yourself. But it's a pretty good deal. So if you've got any questions about that, sing out. Because if you're looking to buy a few things, 
joining Stampin' Up! is a really good way to go. So my first level girls, the girls that have joined directly with me, they get the classes for free too. So if you're thinking about joining Stampin' Up! and I've got a really good deal to talk to you about in a minute, if you think about joining Stampin' Up! Um, July is an awesome time. And you can get my classes for free. You don't have to miss out on that. If you're not interested in joining Stampin' Up! Well, you know, I get that. But um, if you purchase your goodies from me, you also get the classes for free once a month. The other thing, if you want to purchase, there's a preferred list of items that I pop up in my classroom. This time they include the Pretty Kitty and Aqua Painters and I think it's the fine tip glue. If you purchase those things from me this month, I send you the kits, the card kits. So you can make your cards and finish them with your stamp sets when you get them and you can finish up those cards at home all yourself. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? What a deal, Carolyn. That's an awesome deal, Carolyn. I can hear the crowd cheering, yay. Okay, so that is the classroom. If you've got any questions about the classroom, if you go, how do I get into the classroom, Carolyn? I do not know. Then just message me and I will tell you. But the first step is to be one of my current customers. If you are one of my current customers, then um, I, it's just a click of a button for me and you're in. Okay, so what, now I was alluding before to a fabulous special. But I don't want to forget about the fabulous special we all have on at the moment. Stampin' Up! Fabulous special. Um, it's just today. Today is the last day. So I've got to tell you about it. Don't fall asleep while I'm telling you about the specials. Okay? So today is the last day for the fabulous Stampin' Up! Host promotion. It's been running all of June. But don't worry, you've got today till about 11.30 South Australian time to get in your order to me and take advantage of it. So what is the special, Carolyn? Well, if you have like a massive wish list and you've got like $450 worth of goodies that you want to order, you've got a big shot you want to order, you've got some platforms you want to order, You've got, you know, a couple of dies. You've got all the stamps. You need a ton of adhesive. If you've got all that that you want to order and your order adds up to $450, normally you would receive $50 of Stamp and Host rewards. What are Stamp and Host rewards? They're um, kind of like stamp and money that you can spend on whatever you like in the catalog. So it's extra bang for your buck. And normally that kicks in at $250. And it still does. But during the month of June, if you spend $450, you'd normally get $50 of host rewards. But in June, you get an extra $50. So, hang on. It's $45. Ah! I've just done the maths in my brain. You Normally, you would get $45 for $450. You get an extra $45. Right, now they stuffed it. So um, that's pretty cool. You get $90 worth of freebies if you spend $450. Speechless. Okay, so that's just today though. Now the other thing is, if you've got a sister and a mom and a cousin and you all buy Stampin' Up! products and you go, well, I can't afford $450 myself, but I'm just going to call mom and I'm going to call my sister and I'm going to call my cousin and we're all going to put in our order, but I'm going to coordinate it because I'm the hostess, then you still get the host rewards. Just email me your order. Go to the online my online shop at carolynbenny.com, place your order and um, use the host code to, oh no, not for the, the big ones. I need to stop talking because I'm making so many stuff up. All right, moving on. Go to my blog, carolynbedding.com, look at my rewards and you uh, all of the information will be explained on rewards. But the host promotion finishes today. Who's giving me a thumbs up for that? Because that was just dreadful. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> You guys are being cheeky. Give me thumbs up for craziness. Let's have a little coffee here. 
All right. So who's with us? I can see some people in today and I would like you to say hello and um, where you're watching from and if you're having a good Friday, if you're crafting this weekend. Hey, Glennis, how are you? It's my big sister. She is awesome. Glennis is the first one to share my videos, to share my stuff. She is my number one fan. Thank you, Glennis. Hey, Katrina, how are you? All right, I think I've had too much cordial this morning, Katrina, because I'm a little bit hyper. All right, so the other special, you're going away for the weekend to craft with your mum tea. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? I haven't seen your beautiful uh, name in a long time. How are you going? Yes, it is top, it is crazy, Katrina. I'm sorry for the crazy people. I didn't know, sometimes you don't, well, the kids go off to school and you get ready for the video and then you don't know that you're crazy until you start talking and it turns out I'm having a crazy morning. So, hey guys, remember to share these videos while I'm on because I just love to speak to lots of live, have lots of live chat. So, share the videos, tell people about my videos because it's much more fun talking to people than it is talking to myself and I appreciate you guys showing up live. So appreciate you. So here's the thing. Eye surgery. Oh no, Elizabeth. Are you feeling better now? Holy smokes. That's not good. Just one. Gosh, eye surgery, that's that's kind of a nightmare for me. Got funny about my eyes. Okay, all right, well, hope you're feeling better, Elizabeth. Okay, join my team in July. Who wants to join my team in July? Yes, please do. Please come and join me. Oh, good, no, oh, both eyes, Elizabeth. That's freaking me out. Sorry, that's so horrible. I hope you're feeling... You're all good? Okay. All right. Come join my team. What does it mean to join my Stampin' Up! team? In fact, I've got some team members who are here right now that can tell you that I'm not scary, even though I do seem a little bit like I've had too much red cordial this morning. Am I scary, guys? You tell them. I'm not scary. Um, and it is fun. To be part of Stampin' Up! You get to go to lots of events, you get to get your goodies at 20%. There is no pressure to sell. Absolutely, in my team, there is absolutely no pressure to sell. If you want to be a happy shopper and if you want to just buy your goodies at 20% discount, then I am your girl. I'm not going to push you to go out and sell. But if you do want to sell stuff, then I am your biggest supporter. I'm your number one fan. So, and I'm here for all your questions and I'm here to give you a little nudge if you want a little nudge or um, whatever you want, I'm your girl. And in July, it is an awesome time for you to join because there is just the most fabulous promotion that Stampin' Up! has done for a long time for joining. So now is the time. When you join in July, it is $169 to join Stampin' Up! But it's just not $169. You you get to select $235 worth of product in your kit. But not only that, so you're paying $169, you're getting $235 worth of product of your choice. But in July, Stampin' Up! are um, giving some extra things. It's pretty awesome. So when you join in July, you will get two size D acrylic blocks. Do I have them handy? Mm. No, I don't, but size D. It's bigger than that one, but smaller than that one. <laughs> get two of those. Give one to a friend. Um, you get grid paper. I'm always banging on about how awesome Stampin' Up! grid paper is. It is like this stuff. It's awesome. We're using it today because I love to stamp on it. It makes stamping 
um, so much easier. You're going to get a whole pack of that. I've completely messed up my display here by getting excited about grip paper. You also get snips. You get some of those in your kit. You get snail. Ooh. You get some of that in your kit. And you get a bone folder. This is like the card maker's tool, bone folder. So you get all these things in addition, plus a Christmas not yet released stamp set that is going to be available to demonstrators next month. You get it for free in your kit. So it's a value of 86 additional dollars. There is no excuse for not joining Stampin' Up! Um, at the moment. Absolutely no excuse. I will accept no excuses. So, what do you think? That's pretty cool. Now, I think I'm coming down from the craziness and we'll get into some stamping. So, today I wanted to share, like, just go, let's just peg it back a bit and go back to some basics of stamping. But, you know, I find it hard to do absolutely basic. So we're um, I'm just a little twist on basic stamping um, with what I call water spritzing, watercolour spritzing. I don't know if that's the real term. I just make things up. Um, there probably is like a real term for this. Um, anyways. Ongoing minimum purchase amounts. Yes, indeed, Shannon. So basically, if you um, if you join and you get the first whole quarter, so you join, it's $169, and then um, you've got like a whole quarter, so three months where you don't have to um, purchase anything more, you get to be in Stampin' Up! for, a, you have to be a full quarter. So if you join like on the second day, um, then you'll get all the first three months as kind of like, um, you know, get out of jail card free. And then the next three months, you, in that three months, you need to make your quarterly minimums, which is I think $453 retail, but of course you get discount. So you never pay the full retail, you get 20% discount off that. So when you first join, you get to a really long time before you have to make those minimums. If you don't make the minimums, then you just are no longer a demonstrator. You don't have to give anything back, you don't have to pay any fines, nothing. So if you find in that first quarter or if you join partway through a quarter, you get the part part of the quarter and then a full quarter. If you find that there's just nothing else in Stampin' Up! that you want to purchase, which I think is probably tricky, um, then you're just no longer a demonstrator and no harm, no foul. If you do purchase things and you stay active, if you tick off your quarterly amount, then um, you keep going. And that's, that's kind of what it is. It's, it's pretty crazy, really. So I was, you know, when I first joined, I'm, I like uh, I like the legal aspects of things. So I was reading all of the details and thinking, well, this is too good to be true because seriously, you don't have to give anything back. There's no fines. And that's just the way it is. There, it's there for crafters. Okay. So let's get back to our cards that I want to make today. So here I've got three versions of the same card and I think we're going to, I'm going to have to flip for you to see the difference, I think. Okay, so let's flip. All right. Now, turning, turning. So you can see my Eden Blyton books over there. Okay, so I had everything neat and then I got a bit excited and I, um, when I moved my grid paper, let's see, now I'm going to flip so everything is not back to front. Um, there we go, okay, there we are. 
And the other thing I'm going to do, people, is I'm going to plug in my earbuds so I can use the microphone. Can you please tell me if you cannot hear me in about a second, okay? So if you cannot hear me very shortly, let me know, okay? Can you still hear me, my lovely stampers? Give me a little thumbs up if you can hear. Thumbs up, people, if you can hear. Ah, oh, I got a thumbs up. Yay, that's good. Okay, so just um, tell me if, um, if, oh, lots of thumbs up. Oh, I like you. I'm going to ask for thumbs up all the time. Oh, and there was a flower. Oh, and there was an angry. Who's giving me angry? <laughs> okay, so um, can you see this is... This is the Hello Friend kit in the Stampin' Up! catalogue. And when I saw this, I thought, well, that's great. I do love me a kit. And I suggest that if, you, if you're time poor, then having a kit is a great way to go. So you get lots and lots of goodies in the kit. And then you've got a coordinating stamp set. I just saw this stamp set and went, I love you stamp set. It's on page 17 of the annual catalogue um, and it has this beautiful wreath in it, some beautiful little flowers and I thought I have must have you. So that was one of my um, first purchases that I made. I made a few first purchases to be fair but this was one of that first um, kit that I bought. So we're making cards with this stamp set today called Hello Friend um, and it's a corker. Now I've put all of my I've put all of my tools to one side. Okay so now here is the card. I've got three versions to show you of the card. This is you have to work out which one is which. So this is just the card here with good old plain stamping. This is on Whisper White cardstock and I've just stamped the image and um, done a little bit of sponging around the outside, popped our little bow on and I'm going to show you really close what that stamping looks like. It's very pretty and very easy to do. But there's actually a few other ways of attacking it. So here is the same card using the water spritzing technique. Now, do you see that? So that's the, the regular stamping. And that's with water spritzing. You see how that looks so much more watercolory and very arty. Not just the, the simple image. Which one do you like better, guys? Or which one appeals to you more? Or do you like both? So that, they, they're quite different, aren't they? I'm going to show you how to do this one today. But I've got another version as well. So this is using... Um, so this is with quite a lot of water. I've used quite a lot of water and this is on shimmery white cardstock. You like both, Laura. Um, and this is still using shimmery white cardstock, but here I've used a little bit less water on that one. Can you see how the water pools a little bit? And finally, I haven't made this one up into a card because I just did it quickly when I was finishing up last night. But this one here is on watercolour paper. What do you think about that? Pretty, right? Doesn't it look like you're an amazing artist? I love the fact that Stampin' Up! makes us look like amazing artists. Okay, so let's make this card today, all right? So, hey Jeanette, how are you? In the car, love the spritz. 
Yes, it's fun, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, I couldn't decide which one to do for a while, but I have settled on the watercolour paper and I'm being extraordinarily decadent and using a whole um, card front of watercolour paper. Normally I am um, very frugal with my watercolour paper and I use the... Um, the shimmery white to do watercolouring in when it's large sections because it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, hey Vicky, how are you, sweet? You like them both? You like both? Oh, you guys are too kind. You just like everything. You just like all the stamping stuff. So um, this piece of uh, watercolour paper is 10 centimetres wide and it is 14.4 centimetres long so it's it'll be a card front and here I've got my wreath now I've I couldn't decide on what colors I wanted to do but I have settled on some I've got old olive um, in the water color classic ink pad and I've got island indigo and I was a bit should I do it this way? Oh no, I might actually use the Island Indigo um, Stamp and Write marker. And I've got Perfect Plum and a bit of Sahara Sand. So it's kind of a fresh, it's a bit of a fresh wreath, I think. So this is going to be fun. I just need to get myself thinking about where I've put stuff. Okay, all right. So spritzing on live on live um, video, what could go wrong, right? <sighs> Let's see what could go wrong. Okay, so I'm going to stamp. I've got some watercolour. I've got some paper towel down so I don't make a mess. It's very play school. And I'm just stamping directly onto the old olive ink pad. And I really liked the old olive but I just thought it needed a tiny bit of kind of like blue with it hey Kayla how are you nice to see you Kayla with a beautiful name okay so oh my sister Glennis is on today Kayla and she her daughter's name is uh, Kayla um so I've just got my uh island indigo marker and I'm just doing a little bit of they call this thumping where you just kind of go over the top of it and do a little bit of thumping clean off the green that cleans off pretty easy just by um, shimmering it on the pad you don't even have to rush with this because you're going to be blasting it with a whole bit of water in a second so I've got these stamp and spritzes they cost next to nothing um, in the uh, in the catalog gosh I cannot even remember um, but um, they're really cheap so you just fill them up with tap water and then I normally hold it off an aside but I for the for the sake of video we are going to spritz water direct onto the stamp here and I'm going to try not to make a massive mess so spritz 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 Okay, it is wet and juicy. Now we are going to stamp. Now I'm just going to let that water transfer and the ink transfer for a second. All right, that's very moist. <laughs> I've got no plan B, so let's hope that dries down a little bit. I think that what... Um, I realized yesterday is it starts off very wet and then as it dries the water kind of sucks back into where it needs to go so I'm going to show you that see this is kind of more delicate and then as it comes round where it's really wet we've got kind of quite a a um, splodgy bit but that's okay because it looks pretty good once it dries. All right. So while we're letting that dry, I'm going to do one on shimmery white. 
and we'll see how that one plays out. Got another one who's crying. Someone who's who's crying and who's making these. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. People are crying and giving me angry faces. Oh dear, what do we do? All right, so I've got my um, Stampin' um, stamp Scrub out. I'm going to give my card. Oh, I'll take you back out again because you want to see. So I've got my Stampin' Scrub. I'm just going to give these car this stamp a little bit of a clean while that one dries see it's super wet so I'm just going to give it a bit of a dry with my paper towel okay let's try again shall we let's do see how it goes on the shimmery white so I'm going to stamp again with the garden, the old olive and this time I thought I might do a little bit differently I've got the island indigo ink pad and just on I'm just going to dab around like so and then I'm just going to come on in and see whether I can mop up a little bit of this ink. I got a bit excited. How's the um, how's the audio going, guys? Is it working out okay, or is that is it annoying? Am I hitting the cord at all and making it annoying? Because I've kind of forgotten that I've had it on. Okay, is my hair banging on it? That's probably not a good thing, is it? Okay, so that one is drying happily. Good on you. I'm going to move you to the side for a second. I'm going to pop that down and we're going to, I'm not going to, let's see. <laughs> Someone's being crazy. Okay, so I'm going to spritz again. And then I'm going to bring on in the shimmery white Let's see what happens okay oh that one picked up a lot of blue pretty I do like that can you see guys Audio is good for you. Oh, good. Sounds okay. Wonderful. You know, you've got to try these things. I'm going to show you that one up close. So have a good bow peep of what that looks like. Don't we look so clever? We look like amazing watercolour artists. All right. So I wonder whether this one is a bit wet still. Okay, I'm just going to blast it with my heat gun. Bear with me, guys. I'm just going to quickly dash and blast. Well, that was boring DV, uh, video, wasn't it? Watching a blank screen while I used my heat gun somewhere else. Sorry about that, my friends. I didn't organise myself very well with that. So here I've just dried it up a little bit. I'm just dabbing. There's this tiny bit down here that was just a little bit wet still. So I've dabbed that down. Okay. I like both. Which one should I, which one should I stamp on? Should I stamp on one or two? Which one should it be? Or should I just do both? 
Okay, so here it's made, they've made life really easy for us and they've put the flowers in the wreath shape. And I've worked out that you can get three flowers on, three stamps on each um, wreath. So I had to play around with the colours. I really liked, um, oh, you picked number two, that one, the blue one. Oh, do both, Laura says. She knows I will. You know, I'm a glutton for doing this live. So um, you can fit three on. All right, one, two, three. Pretty. I think they look better as they dry a little bit too. There's another one. They're so pretty. This is Perfect Plum. It's not a colour that I use a lot of, but I really do, do like it. Pretty cool, right? At least I think so. All right, let's do this one because um, Shannon wants us to do this one, so we will do it. All right, so this one's going to be a little bit wetter, I think. So we'll see how the ink plays out. Oh, I like it. A little bit, got a little bit of ink. Bad stamping, Carolyn. A little bit of ink. But, you know, that's what happens when you... It's a handmade card, people. I'll try and stamp a bit better. Oh, I love that. Now I'm stamping so light because I don't want to get ink anywhere I shouldn't. All right, last bit. Pretty. Okay, so that's both there. So as you can see, each time they kind of come out a little bit different. I like to bring in Let's see with this one here, each time, just different, looks different. So I've got, I would have liked to have used my cherry cobbler. Just put the, oh yeah, good point, Laura, well done. Um, I like to use, I was going to use cherry cobbler, but my cherry cobbler ink has decided it's had enough. So I, um, it's given up the ghost. So I'm using real red. And, oh, these ones are hard to find, the berries. But if you just add your berries, it just adds for a little bit of extra colour and interest, I think. Just to add the little berries in. And you could do this in whatever colour. I just like the look of the red. And then this one here is the same. A little bit of berries. Trying to work out where they were because of the watercolour. I think we need one more over here. Perhaps here. I might get, be getting a bit carried away now. Okay, so stop, Carolyn, stop. All right, and then if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of extra blue um, island indigo just into the, um, the flowers a little bit just to add some depth. adds a little bit of depth now you can do it um, one of two ways here um, I you can get some of your twine this is the linen thread twine I need to make this a bit bigger now so linen thread twine and you could actually pop a hole pierce a hole here at the top of your card thread that through and use the twine which I think would look lovely um, but just if you 
If you think that might be a bit fiddly for you, then you can grab your ruler. And I'm using the Sahara Sand Stamp and Write marker. I'm using the journaling end and I'm using my grid paper and just to, where do I want it? I want it there. So I line up using the grid paper and then I'm drawing my string on. I kind of want my string to be a little bit thicker so I'm just moving out the ruler a tiny bit. Like so. And then I like the idea of the wreath. This is kind of like a rustic sort of wedding wreath. Actually, one of our team members, Midnight Inklings, are my team of stampers. And one of my Midnight Inklings, Jude, is getting married today. So shout out to Jude. Hope she has a wonderful day with her um, husband-to-be, Paul. So shout out to Jude and Paul on their wedding day today. So here we've got our beautiful little bow. I like that it's two. Like so. And I've forgotten the, the glue dots, so I'm getting those quickly. So with your paper snips that you can get for free if you join Stampin' Up! in July, just head to my blog if you're wondering how you go about it. Head to my blog, carolynbenny.com. There's a section on there called um, Join the Fun. And there's a question and answer sheet on there with all the questions, with all the questions I could think of that people would want to know about joining Stampin' Up! and the answers. So, and then you can just press the button and join whenever you fancy. So join in July and you get these paper snips, bone folders, snail, Christmas stamp set, grid paper, and 2D blocks for free. In addition to your kit price. So this is, I'm using um, thick wa water, oh, thick watercolour paper. I am a bit of a thick, thick, crazy person today. Thick white cardstock. I probably could have used the, um, actually I could have used the new, very vanilla thick cardstock. That might have looked good. But I've just got the white there. And I'm just finishing off with a little bit of stamping. So the the stamp set comes with a few really nice sentiments. One of them was this really big hello, which I played around with on this piece. You can see I did a lot of playing yesterday. I played around with on this piece and I've heat embossed that. So check that out. That's heat embossed in copper which I think is really pretty, would make a really pretty card. Um, so that's one option. The option that I'm, and then there's um, this cute one here, thinking of my friend today, which would be a lovely one for the wedding actually. And thank you for being you, which are really sweet um, sentiments. But we're just going to use the simple friend here. And I'm going to do that in, what should I do it in? I'll do it in perfect plum. That's we've done that in the others, but I always find you just need to check with the sentiments that you haven't got ink on either side. Now I'm doing the other one, Laura, so I'll just do it in that spot and then you it's a good idea. I will put my placement of the other one on that side. Well done you. You clever chick. And we'll work out where we want it. I don't want it directly in the middle because I think that's going to line up with their the um, bow. So and turn it over. I want it a bit further down. A little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. And then we'll get work out 
their placement. All the sun's going behind the clouds. Okay, and last but not least, these awesome... Oh, do you know what? I've got my lamp here. I could have had that on the whole time. Um, these cute, cute, cute little dots. And if anyone can tell me what they're called, because I've just had a brain blip, but they're so pretty. They're new to the catalogue. And I love multifaceted gold. Nope, can't think. Just something for a little bit of interest, just to draw your attention to the sentiment there. And a little bit of adhesive on the back. Like I say, you don't need a ton. It sets like cement, so... You don't need a ton of adhesive, the multi-purpose adhesive. Oh, okay. I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm going to make that one up a bit later. But there it is. There is the finished card. So here I'm going to show you all the different. I'm bringing you right quick. This is, this is just a few different versions using the same technique and I'm telling you you kind of get oh I forgot to do the um the sponging around the outside ah, sorry about that but basically to get this kind of edging here that looks a little bit sponged you just get your sponge dauber I had it all set out and I forgot to plain forgot about it you get a sponge dauber you dip it into the open ink pad and just gently sponge around the outside so we've got like all the different versions here. We've got this one using the shimmer, this one using the watercolour paper, and it's this has had a little bit less water applied to it, and so that it turns it's just a little bit clearer. Just depends on what you fancy and how much water you apply. And it could be that each one you do is just... A little bit different and that's okay the, oh thank you Kayla you like them they're pretty and they're pretty simple to make so you could make quite a few at one time which I always love so I'm gonna flip you girls over And try and flip you over for some reason my uh, <sighs> well that one didn't work out as gracefully as I'd hoped so it yes it should be oh, it should be on your list Vicky it is such a beautiful little stamp set I think it gets a bit lost whenever there is a stamp set with a kit they get a bit lost um, and you know that's that's happens but don't forget this little one hello friend it's it's a sweetie it's easy to make those wreaths and it's fun so my lovelies I feel like this might be another long one I do talk a lot but um, so remember if you're one of my customers please um, sing out Make an order if you haven't ordered for a little while and um, join in my classroom. I'm really excited about that classroom. And um, if you'd like to join Stampin' Up! with me, July is the time. So tomorrow, tomorrow, you can join tomorrow and get all these extra fabulous goodies. It's a great, it's a great special. So I will see you lovelies. Next, oh, actually, no, I won't be here next Friday. I we're um, on school holidays, so I will have a little break for my Facebook lives, and I will see you at the other end of the school holidays. Um, but I'll make sure I put up the event list here on my Facebook page. But I'm still going to be blogging, and I'm still going to be on my Facebook page. So I've not disappeared. I just um, am not going to be. Facebook living for a few weeks so I will see you when I'm back from school holidays and um, I hope you have a fabulous few weeks okay see you later people
っぱい。